nerdy fitness vlog with your host Pablo Gunner and I'm here to talk nerdy to you about fitness and nerdy stuff and kind of like a combination of of that I guess so just pretty much everything I've been up to this whole month you know workouts food music video games comics shows movies whatever I've been into so Obviously, I just woke up, and here I am to deliver this month. So, in my last video, I was very much about like, oh yeah, I'm going to be driving with my dad, and it's going to be great because I'm going to get him to work out with me, and we're going to do like transformation picks, you know, of like when we start, and then when we finish, and stuff. Mostly him, more than me, because, you know... Look at this. No, we're, we're driving together. But he, he he's not allowed to work in the gym until he gets clearance from his doctor to work out at the gym. And so until then, he's just doing that. Now he's supposed to soon. So hopefully in the next video, that's when it will officially start. But this month was not it. Now I will say this though, is that I have been trying to get him on the eating healthy meal plans and stuff. So... First week right away, I had him eating, which was my last week. It was pretty much my my week four of the month for workouts was the first week. Uh, or no, actually, it was, it was week three. Uh, week three is actually when it started. So I hooked him up with uh, salads that I got from Costco. You know, come with chicken and then, you know, some other stuff, croutons and whatever. So started with that. And then I'd give him a Noosa yogurt, uh, a thing of cheese, a small thing of cheese, like like kind of like a bluebell or whatever I think it's called. Uh, and then also, uh, oh yeah, this little these snack packs that are like half like cheese cubes, and then the other half is like fruit, not fruit, but like yeah, it's like a dried fruit and then a nut of some kind. So that's that's what I gave him. Uh, he enjoyed it. He appreciated it. In fact, this week, I also gave him and made some salmon ball. No, I want to call them salmon balls. But, uh, because they're like essentially meatballs, but they're called salmon bites. They're called salmon bites. I got them from Costco. They're salmon bites. It's essentially like meatballs, but salmon. I had that. I got a bag of broccoli and a, and a, a thing of rice. It's like... You just throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds or whatever the rice. Or 90 seconds. But anyway, so yeah, I did that and gave that to him and and I had mine and stuff. And so uh, that worked out pretty well. You know, he, he enjoyed that. It was really great though. I think the best part, sort of, in a sense, was this week he was really hungry. He's diabito, so he has to eat like every so often. And it was his, his turn to drive. Now, if it was my turn to drive, I would have taken him somewhere else to eat to get food. But he was driving, so it was up to him. I suggested things. He didn't go with those things. You know, I was trying to get him to go with healthier options. But he was just going with, like, eh, kind of, like, cheap. He's a cheapo. Uh, I mean, I'm a cheapo. He's, he's, probably, he's probably more of a cheapo. But anyways, so he decided to just get, like, some food from, from a little market or something and he just i think he got like a bean burrito chimichanga it was horrible and afterwards he was like yeah that was awful i shouldn't have gotten that i should have just gotten like you know grilled chicken i'd be better off with like grilled chicken from from mcdonald's or like you know nuggets from mcdonald's i was like no not nuggets because that's just like cancer in a thing yeah he felt it he felt it right away and he did not feel good he felt sluggish he felt you know he did not feel well from eating all this healthy food to eating this really unhealthy thing so um you know there, there's better options out there even if you got to hit up fast food you know it's just go with something that's like grilled chicken if you have to just eat the chicken don't eat bun unless you know you work out unless you do like a lot of running cardio and stuff then you'll need the carbs i guess and for me i started the month by doing stuff that was just my regular things you know i was doing yoga and abs uh i was doing swimming i was swimming a lot more so that was good and i was seeing i was seeing the cut you know like i was feeling it i could feel it right here in my lats i could feel it in my shoulders my chest especially you know my abs everything you know my legs too i felt my leg i could really feel my legs were getting bigger 
you know, I could, you know, so it felt really good to do that. But that was mostly it, is yoga, abs, swimming. I started doing some, like, squats and lunges and stuff like that. The, the legs machines that I use, I'll be posting all this stuff on the website. So if you want to see, like, the full workouts, just go to the website at TNTM The Show, where you see that and plenty of other nerdy stuff. So, and then uh, the second week is uh, I did yoga, running, pull-ups, abs. That week, I started doing some running. And don't, don't tell my wife. Hopefully, she doesn't find out because she'll be upset with me that I ran because I haven't gotten clearance to run. But I've just been like, I need to lose weight, you know. I need to do this. And so, you know, and then and that's the thing is, I, on my own, I probably wouldn't have. But there's this guy, and he likes to run. And he's like, hey, we're going to run. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I've been telling you no long enough. And I've been feeling good, so I'm going to run. And I felt good afterwards. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too crazy. So, And we had a good time. There was We ran up this parking structure and would run down. It wasn't too intense. I did a treadmill run, at least. Uh, but I've also been doing a lot more weightlifting, too. And that's uh, especially can be said for, like, uh, week three and four. I wasn't doing really... I wasn't doing yoga. I was just mostly doing yip. I would do legs. And then I would do upper body. So I was mostly working out in the afternoon. I had been really busy in the mornings. Uh, so I hadn't been doing a lot of that. So I've been doing mostly, just like I said, le the legs machines where you kick it out or where you have to pull it in. It's leg extensions and then seated leg curls. Uh, yeah, and leg extensions. So that's that. those are the machines that I use and stuff. And I've been stepping it up on the weight and stuff too, as well as like the reps. I'll go like, I'm going to step, put as much weight. You know, and do like six or eight and do like three or four sets of that. So so that was that was good stuff, especially on my last week. I've really been adding a lot and I've been having kind of like dizzy spells, but only when I lay down, like if I'm going to do abs or something like that or just anytime I'm laying down, not dizzy, but just like, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. And I'm like, am I not getting enough? I feel like I haven't been getting enough protein as part of it. Because I've been doing so much weights and I haven't been have I haven't been eating enough. Cause that's the thing is I've been starving since I've been lifting more, and I just haven't been eating enough. And finally, I have been with the salmon bites, broccoli, and rice. I feel like that's finally been giving me the protein that I need and the nutrients, the nutrients that I need. And so that's been freaking great. Like I said, for food for the month, freshly I have this freshly organic pre-made meals like shepherd's pie, barbecue chicken, chicken parmigiana, carved turkey. Um, also ramen bowls that I got from Costco, which were pretty great. Always the organic yogurt, Noosa, uh, my little cheese, like I said, they're, they're not Baby Bell or whatever, but it's like the Costco version or something. It is, uh, the organic. Whole grain pretzels, of course, I gotta throw in my burritos in there. Organic Cheeto Puffs, you know, sandwich, uh, you know, naranjos, manzanos, you know, my orange and apples. Organic fruit and nut mix salads. You know, stuff like that. And like I said, uh, the salmon bites, broccoli, and, and uh, rice. So that's that's been freaking uh, amazing. So yeah, and that's that's done me really well. And I'm going to continue to try to do meals for both me and my dad where I go, okay, okay I'm going to eat this. You're going to eat this too, you know. And hopefully for this week uh, or the upcoming month is when we'll start the... start the. I'm going to start them off with just yoga probably the first month or at least two weeks. And then I'll start incorporating other things, you know, some cardio here and there slowly. It's going to be a slow progression, but it's going to be through the, uh, through my, what, Avengers uh, program or what is it? Uh, I, don't, I don't even remember what it's called, but my, just my workout, my workout thing. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to do. Now for music, I started off the month li listening to uh, Tupac, All Eyes on Me, Florida Georgia Line, Dig Your Roots. Uh, and Dashboard, Confessional, Crooked Shadows. And so I listened to those three albums, like pretty much I would listen to the whole thing and then I'd go to the next one, listen to the whole thing, go to the next one. And I'd, different orders. So I'd probably listen to Dashboard first, um, you know, then maybe Florida Georgia Line or Tupac and then, you know, the other one. So at first I was like, all eyes on me, I was like, ah, uh, it's not like, I. this is supposed to be one that's like really big, and I was like, uh, I don't like it as like the first album, I still feel like the first album was the best one, it was the most raw, but the more I listened to it, like, I just got better and better and better and better to me, it's so long though, it's pretty much like a double album, 
months, pretty much. And so this was like he had gotten out of jail or prison, um, and and like put out all this stuff. And so it's it's really focused on that, and it's really really amazing. It is just brilliant. It's fantastic. Uh, this one is huge when it comes to collaborations to to. Uh, I was like, man, he's the king of collaborations in this one. But they said like he had the backing of, I want to say Death Row Records, and that's pretty much why. Oh man, I love the one with George Clinton in it. Is it George Clinton? Um, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just so many collabs. I don't know. It's weird though. The Snoop Dogg one kind of throws me off because like I like Snoop Dogg, but he kind of steals the show in a sense. Like when he shows up, you know, there's artists and they have their own style. They kind of steal the show. But yeah, and then on the opposite, the exact opposite and Florida Georgia Line, Dig Your Roots. I feel like the previous album, it was very party related and this one was more exactly what it was. What it says it is, is like digging your roots. It's actually kind of starting to grow up and grow out, you know, and stuff like that. And and that, that one's a really solid album and that one has, uh, that one has a lot of heart. You know, so that one's really great. But, uh, you know, Dashboard, Confessional, Crooked Shadows. Oh, my God. It's, they haven't made an album in a long time, and I love it. This one, it just hits me in so many different ways. Um, it's an absolutely superb and incredible uh, album. I love it so much. It's, it's more about, like, lasting love than it is, you know, like, new love. And that's what I like so much about it. Because it's so different from many other country songs and other, you know just other songs period so uh i also listened to the muppets soundtrack i was just feeling it um you know just like am i a man or am i a muppet i'm not gonna try to sing because i'm a horrible singer but i love that song as well as uh, a lot of the other tracks like the party of one i think it's called uh, that one's a good one too uh and i've just been listening to like a lot of just throwing my music on shuffle kind of like trying to get back to my own roots sort of too of like music of like what did I listen to back in the day, you know, and try to get my mindset back where it used to be. So in video games, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. I'm pretty much to beaten it almost. I'm trying to get extra achievements and stuff like that. Uh, I got like the Winnie the Pooh one. I finished that one and got the achievement for that one or the trophy for that. I've also been playing Injustice because I'm trying to get achievements for that one. Uh, and that's been fun being dick and whacking everybody with my long stick i love it comic spectacular spider-man is always phenomenal batman beyond has been really great daredevil superb and then for shows uh, i've been watching uh i watched voltron i finally got cut up on voltron which is such a good show oh my gosh it's so fantastic i love it so much uh it's just so great they've been dabbling more it seems like into anime style stuff which i really like uh, it's just really fun and it's really heartfelt and it's just as it's just so good and the, and the seasons are short but I kind of like it I kind of like that uh, so yeah it's it's superb you definitely got to check out Voltron and then I also watched Krypton I watched the first episode that was it Legion is back I haven't been able to watch that I've been able to watch too many shows or movies or anything so I've been busy with a lot of this stuff reading comics and stuff like that course uh, action comics 1000 is out um which was kind of a letdown because it just was not very like i expected more i expected bigger it's like number 1000 like uh, i just thought it was gonna be more of a big deal more of like something yeah so uh yeah that's that's pretty much it you know so uh like i said i'm really looking forward to and I told my dad, hey, this is what's going to go down, you know, this is what we're going to do, whether it's before the shift or after the shift, this is what, you know, this is what we're going to start doing and stuff, so, so deal with it, and, you know, I'll keep on trying to make us food, you know, so we're both eating the same healthy food, and hey, we're going to do transformation picks, you know, hey, have monthly progress and stuff, and, and show that stuff, so I'm looking forward to that, and that's what's, that's what's coming next, for sure, as long as he gets permission from his, from his doctor, which I think, he, I mean, how is physical fitness not g good for you? You know, I mean, we're not going to be doing extreme stuff. So we're going to start off easy. It's going to be a slow progression. That's pretty much it from me. I want to know what your favorite salad is. Because I love salads from Dion's, like the pastrami one. And that one's my favorite. Uh, those are freaking great because they have meat in them. Stay fit. 
Stay healthy. Oh, stay nerdy. Love and peace.